Hi everyone. In this session, we'll solve a problem related to moment. Okay, the problem is about determine the resultant of four forces acting on a body as shown in the figure with respect to the point O. So this is nothing but my body, and this is nothing nothing but my point O with respect to this particular point. I need a moment of four forces. That is force number force number one, 200 newton, which is inclined 60 degree to x-axis, and I have a force of 500 newton, which makes an angle, which makes with a slope of 3 by 4 3 vertical 4 horizontal and we have two forces that is uh, 300 newton purely vertical force and 400 newton purely horizontal force coming to the problem first step as we know that if forces are inclined to find the moment of that forces or to develop f of x and f of y equation we need to resolve it into horizontal and vertical axis so horizontal axis uh, component of 200 newton force will be 200 force is going away from this point, so 200 cos 60 and 200 sin 60, and uh, I have resolved vertical and horizontal component. This is going away. This is nothing but a rightward force, and this will be a downward force because to, this 200 newton force is acting away from point of consideration. X and Y component force also uh, away from the point of consideration. And before that, I need to find this particular theta, so called. 500 newton. Uh, this 500 newton makes a slope of 3 by 4, 3 vertical, 4 horizontal. So I need to convert this slope in terms of angle. And I know that theta is nothing but tan inverse vertical divided by horizontal gives angle with respect to horizontal axis. So tan inverse vertical is nothing but 3, horizontal is nothing but 4. Tan inverse 3 by 4 gives 36.87 with respect to horizontal axis. So this 500 newton will go away from this point of consideration. So Uh, the two component of this force will be 500 cos 36.87 and 500 sin 36.87 acting downward and 500 cos 36.87 acting leftward direction once after that start developing f of x and f of y equation f of x is nothing but 200 cos 60 minus it is leftward force so it is minus 500 cos 36.87 plus 400 newton And answer works out to be 100 newton. Similarly, develop f of y equation. It will be minus 200 sine 60 because acting downward direction. Again, downward force minus 500 sine 36.87 and plus upward force 300 newton. So answer works out to be minus 173.21 newton. And based on these two, uh, get R square root of f of x uh, summation of f of x square plus summation of f of y square. It works out to be 200 newton. From that, get theta. Theta is tan inverse summation f of y divided by summation f of x. It works out to be 60 degree. Once after that, I need to find moment about O because in the problem it is mentioned. Find there is a magnitude, direction, and point of application from point O. So start developing moment equation. So moment equation. I have uh, four forces and resolved forces. Uh, I have resolved all the forces. First, 200 force is resolved into two components. Take any one of the force. I will consider 200 cos 60. 200 cos 60 is purely horizontal force. I need perpendicular, perpendicular the vertical difference between O and this particular point. Perpendicular vertical difference is 3 plus 3. It will be 6. 200 cos 60 into 6, and it is going to rotate in, rotate in clockwise direction with respect to point O. So I will fix a point at O by my one finger. And I apply 200 cos 60 rightward force, and entire thing is going to rotate in clockwise direction. And second, uh, 200 sin 60 is a pure vertical force. I need a perpendicular horizontal difference between O, O, and this particular point, this point, and O. So it will be 200 sin 60 into 1. This 1 meter is the perpendicular horizontal difference, and it causes clockwise moment. Minus 500 cos 36.87. It's a horizontal force, so vertical distance is 3 meter, and this force is going to cause anti-clockwise moment about O. So it is a minus, and finally 500 sine 60 uh, sine 36.87 is a purely vertical force. I need a perpendicular horizontal difference between this point and this O, and it will be 0.5 meter, 0.5 meter, and it cause anti-clockwise moment about O. So it is a minus, and, and moment due to 300 newton and 400 newton are not there because Uh, moment is nothing but force into perpendicular distance. This force starts from point O, so perpendicular distance to that point is zero. So this effect of these two forces is nil on the part of moment. So entire answer works out to be 
minus 576.76 newton meter and calculate dxy based on these formulas and it works out to be 2.88 meter 3.33 meter 5.76 meter based on these calculate when i need to draw this is my point o from point o uh, x distance is nothing but 3.33 meter x and this is my y and draw resultant comma uh, x distance is here join x and y intercept so that this is the my resultant this is angle theta and r acts upward direction because the moment what i got is negative so with respect to this point it is going to entire thing is going to rotate in anti clockwise direction so the answer is minus okay that's all thank you